Hi everybody, it's Cindy Baker from the Lifestyle and Travel blog, Banjo and Layla. I just want to say happy Friday. Um, today I'm going to try something new. I'm going to actually um, make some spinach dip and you can follow along. It's super easy. Just wanted to show the um, the website banjoandlayla.com. I know some people um, can't have the sound up. So um, first of all, I just wanted to talk about my late, latest post. It's so easy. Um, it really could be made with just about anything that you have on hand. It's called um, skillet Italian macaroni. Um, you can use ground beef, you can use turkey, you can use sausage. It is so delicious. Um, you'll you'll see um, the the secret is this Lipton onion soup mix. It just gives it a great flavor, um, and you can do different things with it. It's got tomato, mozzarella cheese. Um, how can you go wrong with melted cheese, right? So um, we're gonna make some spinach dip, and it's so easy. Again, you can use. Um, you can use different things for this. Vegetable dip mix. It's K N O R R. And that's really good as well. But you get your bowl, um, put the dip in, or the dip mix, sorry. And um, we're going to add some spinach. Um, I used 16 ounces of frozen chopped spinach. Um, you add a little water, put the top on, put it in the microwave, and um, cook it for about six minutes. Um, what really makes it uh, easier is if you can um, drain it. I actually used um, some paper towels. You have to you have to get all of that water out so that it's it's dry like this. You don't want any any moisture um, that's extra. And I put it in the refrigerator and let um, let it cool off before because you're going to add some sour cream and you really don't want the the hot spinach that just came out of the microwave. So we're going to add the spinach. Okay, and excuse me, you add uh, one large container of sour cream. You can add, you can use fat free if you want. So we're going to add this sour cream. Sorry, I'm making noises. Layla's down here watching. She's very interested. I don't think you'd like sour cream, it's not very good for dogs. So you add the sour cream and one more ingredient. It's four ingredients. This is really easy about this. Is um, chopped water chestnuts. Just kind of gives it a little crunchy flavor. Um, water chestnuts are sort of bland, but um, great to add in. And you just mix it up. A lot of people use um, they'll use a big um, thing of French bread, and they'll make kind of a boat. Put the spinach dip in the middle. You've probably seen that at um, potlucks, things like that. But I actually like um, something saltier with it, and so I use um, either tortilla chips or um, crackers. You can dip, um, let's get this good and mixed. Um, I actually like these, the reduced fat wheat thins. Um, when you're finished, it's going to look, look like this. And it is really delicious. Dip it. Good stuff. So, sorry, mouthful. 
banjo and Lila .com. I did not put this spinach dip recipe on the blog, but it's so easy. <clears throat> you can use any package of dip mix, one large container of sour cream, one little can of water chestnuts chopped, and 16 ounces of chopped spinach. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you try the Italian macaroni skillet dish that's on my website. Um, if you uh, missed it, I also have a blog about how to satisfy wanderlust when we can't travel. So that's kind of interesting. But I just want to remind you again about my contest. If you refer the most new email subscribers to me by the end of April, you will win an Amazon gift card. So all you have to do, if you're not a subscriber yourself, go ahead and um, hit the blue button on the top of my homepage, banjoandlayla.com, and sign up. You get a free packing list for the next time you go on a trip. And if you just refer others and have them sign up, keep a running list of the first names of the people that you have signed up and their email address. And then just shoot me an email at the end of April. Let me know who those people are. I'll double check to make sure they are legitimately signed up. And if they are, um, and you have referred the most to me, you'll get the Amazon gift card. It'll be at least $25 and you don't have to go out and go shopping. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, I'd love for you to check out the, the recipe, banjoandlayla.com. Bye. Have a good weekend. Go live your adventure.